Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. All right, you guys. So we are going to be finishing sewing our dresses today. So exciting. Um, we are on step number 25 under the category finishing, which is <laughs> very appropriate term for what we're doing. Um, so the good news is everything that we are going to do in this portion of the video, you have already done in one way or another. So essentially you already know how to finish your dress because you've done all of these techniques already, but I'm going to take you through them step by step. Um, the first one is going to be to do your hem. And I told you guys that the hems for A, D, I'm sorry, A, C, and D would be the easiest and B would be more advanced. So hopefully most of you went with a straight hem. It's the curve of B that makes it so difficult. And you can see in the instructions here just how much extra attention to detail and all of that goes into a curved hem. They can be done. It's a great technique to learn, uh, but it is just a little bit more challenging and can be also frustrating and just a lot of hand sewing too. So we're only going to be covering the straight hem today and just like we've done in the past, you are going to take your garment. I need to turn mine wrong sides out so that we can do a proper hem. So we're basically going to do the exact same technique that we did on the armholes. Remember in the very beginning of this whole thing? And so let's get the center back facing up. You, you don't have to have a center back facing up. It's just easy for me to know where I've begun um, if the center back is facing up. Then you need to grab your seam gauge. Looks like this. According to the instruction booklet, the hem is a 5 eighths inch hem. So that's what we are going to turn up on the bottom of our dress. And I do want to point out, they don't always give you what the hem is uh, in the instructions, but it is always on your pattern pieces. So at the bottom of the pattern pieces where the cut line for the hem is, it'll always say uh, how much, how deep the hem is. And I'll usually take that and write it on the instructions because by that time, I already have everything like put away inside my envelope usually because I like to clean up as I go. Um, so I'll write it on here just so that I um, have it in the instructions. It just makes more sense to have it here, but whatever. Um, okay, so in order to make a 5 8 inch hem, you are going to bump your hem gauge up to one and a quarter inches. That's double what 5 8 5 8 times two is one and a quarter. And we are going to take our garment and we are going to mark that one and a quarter inch line all the way around. Okay, so we've made it all the way back around to our center back seam. So now we are going to go over to our iron and we are gonna press the raw edge up to the marking that we just made, creating a 5 8 inch deep hem. While we are over at the iron, we're gonna have this all pressed up like so. Then we are going to uh, take the raw edge and we are going to fold it inside itself so that you have a little baby hem that looks like that. So we're gonna take all of this to the iron and then I will meet you back over at the sewing machine to sew this hem closed. <music> pressed. Our hem looks lovely. And I am going to do this with the wrong side up because I think that my stitching 
the bobbin stitching looks really nice on the right side if your machine is like usually the entry level ones the bobbin stitching doesn't look great if that's the case then do it right side up you just you'll be playing a little bit of a guessing game to make sure that your needle is hitting um is catching the uh fold the inside fold of the hem but it can be done i just um don't feel like i have to be that precious about it because my bobbin stitching looks pretty good i think so i am just placing the edge of the hem the outer edge against the edge of the presser foot and then i'm moving my needle in so that it just barely catches that um the inner fold and i like for hems to bump my stitching up to four millimeters personal preference you don't have to do that if you don't want to and we're just going to start stitching um if i'm stitching in the round meaning i'm coming all the way back around to where i started i don't back stitch i feel like the end stitches are going to catch the front stitches um so i never back stitch and i'm sewing in the round okay now we have a beautiful sewn hem cute right all right i'm gonna go press this just to like lock in the stitches and then i'll meet you guys back at the cutting table uh to show you how to make the belt all right so it's a bit of a bittersweet moment as we are on the very last step of our sew along i know it's exciting and i'm excited for all of you especially those of you who have never sewn before i am so proud of you and you should be incredibly proud of yourself um, okay, so the belt is going to be constructed the exact same way as the drawstring. Uh, the drawstring from step 16, it is literally the exact same steps. We are going to find the end that has the, the notch on it. And we are going to sew this at 5 8 inch of a seam allowance. Let me grab some pins. Where are my pins? Oh. Don't you hate when you put things away where they're supposed to go and then you don't know where they are when you go to look for them? Um, okay, so 5 8 inch hem across here and then we'll press this guy open and flat and then we will have one long strip. Then I will meet you guys at the ironing board because we are going to be pressing a fold into this before we stitch it closed, just like the drawstring. Okay, so if you remember from the drawstring, we pressed in a very, very light press. I'm going to turn the heat of my iron down and I'm going to turn the steam off because we don't want this to be like a permanent press. We just want it to be very light. And we are going to press this right sides together all the way the length of the strip. All right, now that we've got this pressed very lightly, you can tell it's like kind of still rounded on the end. There's not a crisp fold there. We are going to need to put in our little reminders because we're not going to stitch this entire length. We actually need to leave a little gap. Is this all feeling like deja vu? Um, so I like to put in little uh, pins vertically to remind me to stop sewing because you know you get excited you get ahead of yourself and then you're like oh crap i sewed this whole thing shut so you are going to go um to your machine and you are going to sew at 5 8 inch of a seam allowance across this short edge and then all the way down the long edge until you get to your pin then you'll back stitch then you will start stitching again back stitch here sew the entire rest of the length and then when you get down to your short end pivot and sew your short end closed as well. All right, so now we have our belt sewn, except for the little gap that we left in the middle. 
we need to trim up all of these seam allowances. And remember whenever you get to the gap to make your little plateau by snipping just into the seam allowance like so. So we have our little plateau there where we've maintained the 5 8 inch seam allowance. All right, now we need to grab our bodkin, our lovely little friend that's going to help us turn this right side out. You just put it in the little hole we made, scooch it all the way down to the end. The belt is a lot longer <laughs> than the um, than the drawstring was. Okay, now you carefully wedge it through the end of the fabric, lock it in place, and then start carefully pulling the fabric over the end. Being very gentle, like so release the end and then pull the remainder out and now we have our lovely little belt use your fingers to kind of wiggle the corners into place so that it's as square as you can get it like so Ta-da! and then we will do the other side and then go over to our iron and press this um seam on the edge press this all flat and when we get to the center section we will tuck in the seam allowances and press that closed as well so i will meet you over there here is our lovely pressed belt now one thing that's a little bit different than the drawstring is that we cannot just machine stitch that hole closed because you are going to see that when you wear it we were able to conceal the um, opening within the casing of the bodice so we need to do a little bit of hand stitching and admittedly i am not the best hand stitcher like at all uh <laughs> i just kind of get it closed and then call it a day but i literally just took the bobbin out of my sewing machine to get the thread that i needed in order to um stitch this guy closed so I'm just going to do a very simple little whip stitch here and call it a day. Okay, so now we've got our lovely belt. I am going to put this on my dress form with the dress, obviously, and you guys, we just sewed a dress together. How awesome is that? I can't wait to show you what it looks like. All right, you guys, there she is. Very, very cute. Although I have to admit, <laughs> uh, there are two, and you know, and I'm hesitant to even say this because I know once I say it, you guys won't be able to unsee it, but there are two dark spots of the fabric that are not so pleasantly placed across the chest area. Um, so I'm gonna have to work on maybe trying to camouflage that, but inevitably that happens sometimes. I didn't notice it until now, even though I've had it on this dress form a couple of times now, but either way, the uh, belt is super cute. The drop waist, I'm still a little on the fence about. Um, so we'll see if that ends up being permanent. I might, um, 
either move the casing up to my waist or add a band to the bottom so that I can wear the elastic at my waist. We'll see. I'll wear it as designed one day. Um, that's what you guys are going to see next week, how I style this little guy, how I will wear it, and, you know, what it looks like on an actual body. So that is going to wrap up our pin ultimate video for this sew along. I would love to know how yours are coming along. And if you have any questions about anything, please leave them in the comments section below. See you guys soon. Bye.